Hey everyone, I just want to go ahead and go over an injector waveform with you both on the current and voltage over time and uh, show you how I have everything set up. I'm using a Handtech, Handtech 1008. I'm currently using the old software. Uh, I might go back to trying the new software again. I was having really bad luck with, it with my last computer. Uh, this one, this version seems to be working fine. This is a Surface Pro 7 by the way. Okay, so first of all, when it comes to scopes, there's something called a trigger. Okay, so first I want to show you this trigger point. Yeah, that one right there. And this one up here on this particular lab scope, there is two separate uh, things you have to change for the trigger. Instead of just having a single point, like you go click on it, like over here for example, that won't do you any good. On this one you have to actually move these uh, triggers so basically it's drawing from roughly this point right here in the center because that's where those two points intersect and that's on the upward slope you can see right there and then so where those two points intersect is where it's drawing it at. Now a few things I want to show you is from this point to this point, that is your pulse width of the injector, the injector pulse width. Um, that's the amount of time that the injector is commanded on. Okay, so basically it goes from right here is battery voltage, it's pulling it to ground, stays at ground, and then when it shuts off, the magnetic field collapses, causing this inductive kick right here. And then on its way back down, the spring pressure overcomes the what's left of the magnetic field and the pintle closes. That's what that little hump is right there. That's actually the pintle moving through the magnetic field, causing a disruption. Okay, That's on the voltage side. And I'm going to show you how all this is set up on the vehicle here in a minute. This other one right here, this is uh, using a current clamp. So this is just clamped around the wire. Once again, you have injector on to injector uh, off. And this is where the inject the pintle is opening. So once again, it's moving through the magnetic field causing a disturbance. So now, just to kind of illustrate the point of that being the injector on time real quick I'm gonna hit the accelerator and you can see because I'm hitting the accelerator it gives it more gas and then on the D cell uh, it dropped it down just a just a hair not for very long cuz I'm sitting here idle I didn't I'm not giving it a whole lot of throttle but so there's that And then right here, you've got, this is on the cylinder number two injector, which that is injector two, which is the entire second, uh, the entire right bank of, is a 5.3 Suburban right here. I've got that going for a fused jumper, just in case. And then here's my amp pump. Now I'm going to show you something with this amp clamp, with amp clamps in general. I'm going to take it off, I'm going to flip it over, if I can see what I'm doing, okay? And now the current waveform is going to be upside down. So you can see, now it's upside down, and that's because it's reverse polarity now. easy enough to swap it around if it was in a funky place to get to or something you could also invert it on the in the vertical tab of the in the vertical menu on the scope software itself over here there's my injector number two and I'm on the control wire if you're not sure which one is the control wire on the injectors, uh, all eight of them have the same color on one side, 
The other side has a different color for each one, and that's your control side, which is, uh, in this case, it's the ground. It's a uh, full-time power and then ground. Right? The, the power is ignition control, but it's with P on, it's got power all the time, and then the plus we modulate the ground to turn it off. And if you wanted to see Okay, so we're looking at this one right here that has the number one. Okay, that's injector number two fuse. Injector one fuse is the one that has the two. And that's it. And don't be like me. Always turn off the clamps. Have a good one.